So I'm poking around online, I find this uh, video of a guy who took a can of tuna, turned it into a candle. Well, it's not the tuna that's burning, it's the vegetable oil that's packed in, that's wicking up. Well, I was poking around out back the other day, I found a uh, jug of canola oil from six years ago. Yeah, it's really not fit for eating, it's kind of a, you know, you know, you know how, how old oil smells. Uh, still a good fuel. Now, in the uh, video with the guy with the tuna, he used the entire can without opening it. I want to eat the tuna, but I can take the can. I'm going to fill the can with this old oil. That's pretty simple. Just slop it in. It ain't going to be perfect or neat. Now, I want to raise up the lid because I've already removed the lid. I want to have the lid up here. So I need something that's going to add some distance to it. Mm -hmm. I'll try to do this without cutting my hand out. And it wants to be about that high. Get in there. Okay, it's a little high in spots. Shrink that up some. Now I've got to bend that. I've got a support for the lid. Okay, the lid, I'm going to poke a hole in it. Anyway, it'll do. I'm going to widen that out without cutting my hand off. Okay, that's plenty. I've got a couple of holes because I tried earlier. That's going to sit on top, but I've got to add a wick to it first. Piece of paper towel. Ain't gonna be much. Just a. I don't think these are even bounty towels. No doubt they're the cheap ass towels I got at the supermarket because I'm a tight wad. Okay, fold it over. Doo -doo -doo. That's good enough. Give it a good twist so it holds together. All this is gonna do is serve as a wick so the oil gets sucked right up. Stick it through the hole you made. And set it on top. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you could be neater about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll work. Alright, I'm going to use the rest of the paper towel for your fingers. Now I've got to messing around. You don't have to use a uh, tuna jar. If you're frugal, you'll save your jars because you can always, you know, throw something in there old buttons or seeds or. Whatever you got. This is a jar of horseradish. I'm kind of funny for the horseradish. I can't grow it or I wouldn't have the jars. This one's real easy. Oh, oh. Look at that. That's okay. It'll burn. Yeah, it's ready. Yeah, it's good enough here. Alright, put your uh, lid on top. Now it's important to poke the hole in the lid before you fill it with oil, just because you don't make a mess so bad. That's okay. We'll make we'll make do with what we got. Give it a little twist, and that will take a wick now. And it's going to have to be tall. It will fold it. And give me something to work with, and we roll it. There we go, that's probably good enough. Now I want to twist it. I made this other one earlier just to see if the idea would work, and sure enough, yeah, no problem at all. Uh, hey, you know, we put that already oiled. Yeah. And then shove it in the hole. And that's a lot easier said than done. You need a little more dexterity than I have. I could take the lid off, perhaps. Yeah, that's greasy as hell. Okay, get the hole. That's what I knew the nail would be handy. I always have a nail around. You never know when you need one. Okay, that's going in. Now you can see the, the wick. I grab that right in. I got extra wick. You know, so those times when you don't have a piece of paper towel around, you got something to work with. Just pull it up through the hole. And yeah, clean up that mess on top. Let that do its job of 
coming up and we'll go from there here's the next one good old bottle I found by the side of the road just happen to have a cap over here I have some oil I used the other day and I deep fried a zucchini I don't, I'm not going to filter it just pour it right in this is uh, waste vegetable oil people run their vehicles on this stuff Okay, that brings it to about here. We'll add a little more. Yeah, that'd be funny. Whoa, that'll be funny, all right. Put the rest in back in there. And some of this. There you go. Do not drink this. It's awful. Okay. Now, if you don't have paper towels, about anything will work. And a pair of old Levi's, 100% cotton. They are shot out, baby. I'm going to drag some of this out of here for the, for the wick. But I want something a little more durable. So we use that uh, hem right, right down the side. That'd be plenty big, plenty stiff. I bet you that'll hold up a long time. And I'll cut it a little longer so I can drive it in. Yeah, that's probably good enough. I'm going to get rid of the pants. I'll throw nothing away. Now I've got the cap. I need a hole in the cap. That's where the nail comes in. Grab that hammer. Without smashing your hand. Grab a hole. Let me move this to better support here. There we go. Nothing to it. Don't grab it all the way through your workshop table. I want a bigger hole than what I got because I got a piece of uh, cloth, a pretty significant size. We'll reefer that out here without cutting your hand off. As long as the wick will fit through it, you should be good. Maybe. That's an old bottle cap. Got a hole in it. If I can get this started, I should have a chance. Hey, I got a pair of scissors. Look at this. That's cut a point. Give myself a little advantage. No, yeah, bigger. When you got butterfingers. Yeah. Okay, that's bigger. And I just want to get that into the hole. Once it's started, I should have a good pull on it. Where's that nail? Mm. Now I like these little jars because you should just blow them out, put them up in the cupboard. They'll stay there for a while. Something like this contraption with the tuna cans, a little more clumsy. Okay, I think we're in business. All right, that's about as deep, so we can run this for hours. Uh, stick it down in there. Give it a little turn. Yep, yeah, screw tops. They still work. And I'm just going to clean up some of this mess because you don't got company coming at all. There we go. And the oil kind of helps preserve the wood in the, in the workshop table there. Okay, now this has been sitting there for a little bit. The oil is wicked up almost to the top. Let's give it a light. Now anything that's dry is going to burn away real quick. That's going to work just fine. We'll set that here. Yeah, what's that doing? Let's find out. If, oh, that one is a hit a lighter. Not dripping. Good. And let's see what that's going to take. Now, the only problem I see with this, get a lot of soot, especially when you're first burning it off. So you might want to, you know, start the wick and from the outside and bring it in to, to see at night. But uh, as the dry stuff burns away, what's going to be left is a small bit of wick. And it'll still put out some carbon. A little bit sooty. But hey, if you're in the dark, it's not a bad solution. New oil, well, six years old. Over here we got some uh, used oil from uh, some cooking. Just about anything will work. 
But if you want to use your old chars, make use of that wasted oil, and light up the house when it's dark, well, there's a good, practical, easy solution. Oh, we didn't write this one yet. The tuna can. She'll go. Just like Christmas. Having trouble here. I suspect it hasn't wicked up enough. Well, this will help. Hmm. Okay, this one's failing. And you don't know until you try. Alright, that's no problem. I, I've got a good way to store my oil. Just put it in the old bottle. This one has been going for about an hour and a half. These will keep on going for a while. And this one I think is not going to work. Is it too tight or do I not have enough draw on the wick? I'm thinking the hole is too tight. So I'm squeezing the oil out before it's getting hot. Okay. That's no matter. We know that these work. Hey, let's try a whole can. That's 12 ounce, that's 12 ounce. I betcha. Yeah. And let's see what the hell this does. It doesn't make so much a mess. Hmm. All right. That's good. Let's try that same wick. bottle cap, that hole was kind of small for the size of the, uh, the cloth here. I'm going to bend this tab so it holds, the cloth, holds that wick up. You know, some of this excess mess. What's that going to do? It's going to bite. Mm. Now, I don't think it'll explode. It's just canola oil here. Looks pretty good. I'm about to set up an altar. Somebody give me a dead chicken. You can read by this. You can turn the night into day for next to nothing. This baby cost me, what, zero? Old oil? An old jar, just throw it away anyway. That piece of paper towel. They spend $6.95 on those candles that last all day. This will probably burn for 12 hours. Hmm. Okay.